Hello everybody, Retro Beard here. How are you all doing? It's Wednesday afternoon, 4 p.m. UK time. Hope you've all had a good day so far, or good morning, dependent on where you are, or good night, or whatever. Um, before I get started, I want to say, if you enjoy my content, please like, subscribe, share, click the notification bell, leave me a comment. It really helps to build the channel up, and I really need everybody to try and do that, because, um, you know, this channel needs to keep growing and, and thriving. Um, and it's much appreciated. Um, if you wish to support me or the channel, I have a buymeacoffee.com page, and there's one off tips which are one pound each, just over a dollar, or five pounds a month memberships, whatever suits you. Thank you. With that all said, today we'll pick up where we left yesterday, and as usual, see what happens, see what requests are, or specific questions because I know this Super Console X has created quite a stir in the retro gaming world so what well, it may just simply be wanting to enjoy a few old school games in a relaxed fashion where hopefully they don't drive me insane of course because some of these old consoles are a real blast from the past or a mystery or and I'm playing on a stock settings because I've never had the time to go in and optimize things so it's quite interesting from a new customer point of view of what are you getting and what state is it in and how many games work and what doesn't work and what retro gaming side of things do you enjoy I suppose we can have a look at main while we're at it Golden Axe Ranger Death Adder. Or play a Golden Axe. That could be interesting. We'll have a go on that while I see who comes along and what happens. Oh, that's a crying shame. I really want to see that. Try again, just in case this thing's temperamental. That is a real shame. Maybe after I do some modifications in the future, when I mysteriously and magically come into more free time. What have we got? Afterburner 2. Huh. Aladdin. I didn't realise it began in um an unofficial arcade version. Ah, of a Mega Drive One. Some real um hidden treasures in this arcade selection, and some are not such treasures. Aliens. I'll give Aliens a go. I have some familiarity, but I don't know if it's a home a home console version I've played. My memories are not what they used to be. Although we are looking at things, you know, that I did years and years ago, literal decades ago. There's a lot to remember. Let's see. I think I have played this in the arcade. An army mm. that, in the days when that used to be a seal of quality. The controller working, yeah. Some poison. Is it just a side scrolling shooter? I'm glad I made a coffee, I really fancy it now. That, that. Pretty simplistic. Captures the feel of the, of the movies precisely. Or not. I traded my gun in. Rescue the little girl.
I preferred the gun, it was single shield, was you could just hold the fire button down. She's got a better array of firepower than the movies, isn't she? Ripley, is it? Good. The SNES good on this arcade perfect and the Mega Drive near as damn it, to be honest. Still, it's interesting playing it. I think um, my ambition since a child, since I've been a child of having an arcade machine um, in my own home, you know, I'm all to game arcade machine now. Um, it's quite a modest one because when you think about it, the Super Console X in this um, contains at the least hundreds of arcade machines. So all you'd have to do is get a cabinet and plug the Super Console X in if you wanted to do it rudimentary, then just get some USB arcade sticks. I know this, that's not how professional arcade machines are made, but it would, for all intents and purposes, be an arcade machine, wouldn't it? Oh, thank God, an auto fires back. Too slow. You know what I mean? You, you'd have you'd, if you got USB arcade sticks, plug this in, you'd have an arcade machine in, in the cabinet. And the you know the because the arcade machines are so weak by today's standards. You you um you know this is essentially arcade perfect, isn't it? I'm not very good at this though. Thank god I've got plenty of quarters. Or 10 P's or whatever for into the day is. Or Euro cents. I don't know why I said an American accent before, but. It makes it exotic, I suppose. It's funny how different accents are always exotic. Oh, the little girls are being kidnapped. There's only one in the film, there's hundreds in this one, all these little blonde girls. Okay, that didn't. Crap, I'm in my butt kicked. It wasn't the aliens that got me, it was the, the steam that doesn't affect them. My gosh. Thanking out some spa um, spikes. Some sprites. Yeah. An interesting game, not my cup of tea. I appreciate its existence. I'll give this a go. I don't, I don't give arcade games nearly enough love on this channel, and I think I need. To, it's nice to do it. I've got. Oh, or not. I've got sore shoulders today. I think I've been overdoing things. All this Jeet Kune Do training. I do try and keep in shape with mixed results. But then, you know, I've got a. Oh, that's a real bugger. You should have tested that. And then, I've, you know, you, you do some exercise, but then when you're an older athlete, you, you get um, injuries, don't you? So, and my, my shoulders play up. Oh, hope they'll feel better because I was meant to do a workout later as well. Upper body strength. I won't, I won't if my um, shoulders aren't right. When you're um, in your 40s, you've got to listen to your body. You want it to last. Ah. Oh. Wow, and this was in the arcades. Must be pretty old, because look at it. The 
this wouldn't look out of place on, on, on NES. I think people have put... It's not very playable. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not even convinced that there are buttons. About pinning. And we've got the whole open copyright for this game. I'd be quite enjoying it if I knew what the hell I was doing. Any pins? One. I think, um, I think not. Give this a try if it's going to work. Oh, come on, shoulders. Nice sprite scaling, although it is only the, um, it is only the menu. I think I played this before, actually. I'm on the stream, so I, did, I didn't get on with this one. I apologise, I'm gonna go on this game. Because... If you know you don't like something, there's not a whole lot of point in... Let's try and get something I've not played, but arcade classics. Yeah, I suppose if I had the, um... If or when I have money, you know, the money, I'd get a um, multi-game arcade machine. But you know, with high-end, you know, Windows technology, and so it's not just got um, first-class emulation. It's got a professional front end, and it's you know, it, it's quite um, immersive. And um, and they've tested the games, so you're not messing about because I, I don't have time to tweak somebody drink. I'd have time to tweak settings. I just want to put a game on and play it. That's the kind of guy I am. Excuse me. Yeah. I like to, you know, get a professional machine, turn the game on and play. No tweaking, no messing about. That's something that's to be said for, you know, professional machines, but they, they're far from perfect, and they often don't have the licenses. Yeah. One downside of a big beard, you get food and drink in it, you need to keep yourself clean, which I take pains to do. But yeah, um, it'd be lovely to have a, you know, and also, on a professional arcade machine, have, um, have a coin slot on it. I'd, use, I'd, I'd make it have a double function as my savings, as a savings machine. Okay, jumping on the head don't work, this isn't Mario. Well, that game puts you in the deep end, doesn't it? Okay, she has a kick, maybe that's it. Okay. Bloody hell, it's a fast game, man. Brutal, I might be too much of an old man for this game. I can't fight these kind of odds, I'm not it, man. This should be a beat em up, not a flipping, um. against the endless legions of enemies. Athena goes forwards. Dollar, give me the dollar. Taking the pay, man. I got 13 credits in this beast. I hate that game. I love games you got credits and they make you start again. The whole point of the credit is you um, you can carry on playing. 
money buys success. Yeah. Avengers. That looks bloody awful. Avenging spirit. Let's give it a go. Been a quiet stream today. I think it's turning more into a playthrough video. Maybe somebody will turn up. I still am questioning if I pick is my four o'clock time is the optimum time. But you know, when you're still when you're working and you're just doing this in your free time, you know, what can you do, eh? Okay, how do I start the game then, dude? Whack ten credits in your darn machine. Nice um, sprites. I picked the ninja. I want to control her. Dreaming. Possess people. I like controlling her. She's got the Wonder Woman vibes going on. Time no see. Good to have you here. Upgrades. I don't think I'll continue that crap. Nice idea, poorly executed. Like me at gaming. BC story. I just give it a go. Toronto, the third team. Oh, well, we've all lived direct, haven't we? Wow. The cave women are better than the cave men. Wow. Oh, it's Mario Day, is it? What Mario game should we start with? Mario 1 on the NES. Wow, what the heck am I playing? Arcade stick. Oh, I give up. It's a Mario day. Let's go to the NES then and do some Mario. Or the Nez, as I call it. It's only a name. I'm not a very good at Mario, but that's probably no surprise for you.
Why, why do I put N in for? I'm losing my mind. Oh, no, it's going to be super under S, isn't it? My God. I should have stayed in bed. Super. Super Mario. I'll drink my coffee. Mm. Delicious. I am not very good at Mario, but I enjoy it. Give it a go. I have very little nostalgia to this game. I remember the NES in Dixon's, ooh, special edition. I remember running in Dixon's and uh, me thinking, wow, that looks awesome. And I had a few goes here and there. I played it later on, you know, like the NES, the SNES port, you know, um, Wii Store, that kind of thing. I think I had it at a 3DS for on my old, my old 3DS, but it broke, but I broke it actually. But we'd have to go into that right now. I'm not a good, I'm crap. I'm just a good at stupid voices. Oops. I got I walked into the bad guy. I thought he'd go backwards, that's a luxury of modern systems. I'm a little Mario now. Give me the mushroom. I smash at the bricks. No get it a headache. Perhaps I should stop doing accents now, I'll be in trouble. I might offend someone. Give me the coin now. This is not a Sonic, you take your time. Oh no, the Koopa. Bye, Goomba. Hey, if you like my um, silly voices, I, I do a Warhammer 40,000 um, audio books now on my channel. I've got four on there, and if you to the playlist if you can't find it. Um, I do loads of voices there. No rush. I rush for no one. With a terrible control, and I have. I want your flower. But every Italian man says. Scratch, I said that actually. I can't get to the flower. No flower for me. What have I died for? Oh, was a timer, isn't there? Whoops. I was having so much fun, I forgot there was a timer. Oh no, I lived on again. Stop being so slippery, Mario. Oh. Gimme, gimme. Let's run. Run, Forrest, run! My mama likes me collecting mushrooms very much. Whoops! I forgot I wasn't invincible, I got carried away. I try not to get the past the first level, I'm Mario! Where is Luigi? Oh yes, the NES was too rubbish to do two play games, wasn't it? Go away, Goomba. I want a mushroom. Do you remember the Mario film with Bob Hoskins? Now that was a film. Yay, 
Yay! I did the first level. I'm the best Mario player ever. I'm in the sewers. <sighs> Lovely sewers they've got in Mario's world, haven't they? They're stinky, disgusting places in my world. Hey, mushroom! I'm Big Mario. Let me out. Oops. Poor little guy. I love the sound of coins. Uh oh, buddies. Bad the guys. Right, these idiots can double back. Ah! Your ass belongs to me! I don't think Mario would say that, would he? Oh, yeah, give me the good stuff. I wanted the coin. I love coins. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't see that bloody wall. <laughs> oh, no, I saw a car. Mario 2 now? Mario 2. I don't deserve to play this game anymore. Hello, Wise. How you doing? How you doing? Mario. Are we are we skipping Mario 2 then? Weird. It's Mario Day, according to Art Side of the Moon. So I've got to play all the Mario games, or as many Mario games as I can handle. Yes. It is the modest NES. That is true, Mario came to the arcades. Tradujizodopol. I think it's your language, um, your language art. Can you translate this to me? I'm glad to hear that. One player. Mundo one. Mundo must be land. I learned that from the Bleach anime. Let me into the game. I'm getting annoyed. Too stupid to understand what to do. That sounds more Transylvanian than Mario, actually. Gandracula. No. This game is a technical marvel on the amazing NES console. Ah! Oh no, I wasted the mushroom! I'm a bloody idiot. I would say bloody would I? I'm getting out of character. Oh no, mamma mia. Oh, poo! I'm really good at Mario, not. You won't get away from me this time. Oh crap, what am I doing? Hello, Vector of East Games. I'm alright, thank you. How are you? I was getting my butt handed to me on Mario. Out. My absence of an NES in my childhood is showing. Yeah, it, it, it is definitely up there, isn't it? It's one of the best um, technical marvels on the, um, the NES. Oh, you bugger, come back. I am the bigger Mario. It looks almost like a crap-looking SNES game. I hate that plant. He hates me. The 
They must have used extra chips and... Oh crap, what am I doing? I cannot talk and play very well. It's going to be a long day in Act I might have to jump off this and find a different Mario game soon. Perhaps Act 1 is as far as I can achieve in my um, playthrough skills. I'm butchering Mario Day. No, 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 no! I want that! Not my. F I'm. 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 Um, I have days where I'm crap at Mario, and then I have days when I'm really crap at Mario. Today's one of the days when I'm really crap. I'm stuck on the first level. I'm probably not a good ambassador for Mario Day or Mario Day. Oh, I forgot the mushroom. It wasn't mushroom. A run and jumper. What can I say? I'm a barbarian. Just give me a mushroom. I don't deserve feathers. Off. Beep. Yeah, I, have, I don't have much nostalgia to these games. I never had an NES. Really, until the Game Boy, I, I had a little bit of Mario. I didn't. I had Mario, you know, Mario on that, which I actually completed, shockingly enough, believe it or not. Um, and then Mario on the Super Nintendo, and you know, the Game Boy Advance, but not, not a lot. I've never been a big fan. It's just something I played here and there. For some reason, I'm playing a foreign version. What I get for doing an accent. I'm in a different land. A whole new world. Don't you dare suck at Mario. Too late. <laughs> no! I was so desperate to get that bloody mushroom, I slipped off the edge. I hate games that do that when your character slides. Oh, pet peeve. At least I can blame something. I'm going to leave this game. I have no right playing it. Man. Super Mario USA. Wow. <laughs> I'll try this, Super Mario USA. It sounds legit. I think these are all strange, modified versions. Super Mario Bros. 2. Oh. I don't think I've ever played this one. I'm aware of it, though, but... Oh, for God's sake, I want English games. I don't understand this. Quando Mario Abrio a Porta Desposte. I was reading that. Control. Control Mario. To find the way out. Press start. I don't know. Pick my. No, I never had a NES, any, a NES back in the day. My 8-bit console was my Spectrum. Then I upgraded to Mega Drive. Then I downgraded to Master System. Then I upgraded to Mega Drive. And we had Super Nintendos alongside it. Mega CDs, 32Xs. Um, then jumped on the, you know, the 32-bit bandwagon with a PlayStation, Saturn. Um, but a Panasonic 3DO before that. Oh, I'm playing a game. Leap of faith, we've all need one of them.
I played so many consoles, you sort of forget what you had. And had so many consoles. I think it's Spanish, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm still learning English, so I'm not really bothered with Spanish. English is the hardest language to learn. That's not novel, that's annoying. More sliding. I guess sliding's part of the game and I need to get over it or not play it, of course. I was hoping I could pick him up. Yeah. C64 is a good system. You know what, I really love the Master System, but I hate saying it, but it, it, it don't really stand up now. I mean, I play a few Master System games and I really enjoy them, but probably 90% of the library, 95%, absolutely has aged terribly. But yeah, um, and same as the NES, I mean, okay, I, I've got nostalgia to it, but there's not a lot in here to really make me play. Although this game's interesting. The most, the Mega Drive and the Super Nintendo, they've aged beautifully. You want a sprite work, old school console, you've just got no point going to an 8-bit one. In my opinion, unless it's nostalgia, nostalgia goggles are a blinding thing. Oh. What am I doing? I don't have the forward thinking or the coordination for this kind of stuff. And I think also, because I don't have the nostalgia, I'm not playing these games with like a warmth or a tenderness. I'm just playing it going, yeah, cool, Mario. And that's probably not doing it a great justice. Swordmaster. Oh, check that out. Yeah, I think that's the problem. Why would you play the watered down version on the Master System when you can go and play the premium on the Mega Drive? It, 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 it is, it's part of the problem. Or is it part of the solution? There's a few games on the Master System I really enjoy. Um, I like Enduro Racer, you know, put, you know, like exclusives that you won't find anywhere else. I suppose. But yeah, most of those ports. What is the point? Whereas the Super Nintendo and the Mega Drive have mighty libraries that unique experiences that are timeless await you. But that is the way of retro gaming. Usually a lot of it's just curiosity or people making requests. Um, give this bad boy a go. But in its in its life, I really enjoy the mass system. Yeah, yeah. Arc um, Golden Axe was very um, on the Mega Drive was very um, close to the arcade. I think it in the character selection menu, it didn't have the sprite scaling effect of the characters when they rotate round to pick one. I think other than that, Golden Axe was very close. Perhaps the sprites were a bit smaller and a bit less colourful, maybe, but I'd say it was a 95% arcade perfect port, 90% worst case. It had all the playability, all the features and stuff. And same as Altered Beast. Other than a bit of sprite scaling in a few areas, like when you destroy the monsters that fly towards the screen and things, well, that was quite an arcade close port. I mean, Afterburner and Outrun, they were lacklustre. 
but then again they were even more lacklustre on the master system, so... Oh, more sp Why are they selling me an, an, an English cons uh, English speaking language console that's in Spanish? That was my controller not working. Ah, oh, well, I guess Mario has its own language. Whoops. This is where, um... Same as this game on the Super Nintendo. I played it a bit, but I never played it much. It didn't really impress me. It was like, oh, cool. Curiosity. But it was better experiences to be had for me. I mean, each to their own. I know to some people, Mario is a flipping legend, and, and the games are the best ever. Oh, wow, I can deflect bullets, because call me Neo. Now I am a bigger Mario. I think there's a certain Wonder Boy look to this bright work. Oh, okay. That's why it did close ports initially, because it was a sort of scaled down Sega 16 arcade board with um, features like sprite scaling and perhaps a reduced colour palette and a little bit less RAM and stuff, so it could do um, comparative. But when you had games that started getting more dependent on sprite scaling, like Outrun and Afterburner, that's where the cutdowns fell short, I suppose. I think they really, um, that's where they went wrong, because sprite scaling became such a big thing. Well, the NES, uh, the Super Nintendo capitalised on that, didn't it? This is a nice pace game. Quite clean. That means a lot to me, not. In fairness, when we got our Mega Drive, it seemed like um, it, you know, it was a very powerful machine. It felt at the time. Yeah. I guess they had to make it affordable, didn't they? Because I bet. I better get a move on. The shame is a timer. I want to just do what I want to do. Oh, I'll give up. I suppose it's price, um, the Mega Drive's price, price for performance was pretty competitive and it was a huge jump over the 8, what am I doing? Huge jump over the 8-bit, um, hardware of the day. right until the end of its life, until the 32-bit systems came along and blew our minds. I just never realised that 32-bit gaming would lead us down the road to how gaming is now. I'm not a fan of modern gaming. I, I do it, I've got it, but I don't play anything that I believe will give people much nostalgia in the long run. Games seem very disposable, and gamers treat them disposable. They don't seem to have a love. Well, they'll be talking about it in many years' time. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I've not played anything in recent years on, a, on my Xbox One that's made me go, Wow, this is a timeless classic. The last time I had that feeling was perhaps um, Xbox 360 days. When I was playing Halo 3 and Gears of War 2 and 3. 
those games felt great in the time, but modern games just seem to be those games with a little bit more spit and polish, but a whole um, a whole lot less character because you know they're not made with love. Well, in that, I guess Sega was successful, weren't they? 100% successful. Great, I'm going to use that shell for this bunch of cronies. Oh. You are terminated. Who'd ever think that gaming, console gaming, would become PCs? We used to get custom, custom hardware. Now look at us. Serious power that lad has. Okay. That guy's annoying, he stole my baby off me. <laughs> baby, come here! Are oh, you bugger? Yeah, I love the Mega Drive. Oh, American footballer after me. Oh. Yeah, I love the Mega Drive. A lot of great. Everyone's steal what's mine. Man. Here we go. I'm back. I'll stop whining. Great Gordon the Gopher. He goes for this, he goes for that. Yeah, I, I've sold many Mega Drive games that I regret. But what can you do? What's done is done. God, my timing is atrocious. I give up. No, 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 I want to get back on my uh, my ride. Here we go. For me, the Me Mega Drive is, um... Yeah, um, I agree with... Oh, that don't work. I agree with the PlayStation 1, because that's my favourite console of all time, to be honest. Um, Mega Drive, yeah. PlayStation 1, Mega Drive, probably Super Nintendo for me. Because those three consoles are nostalgia goggle proof. They don't, they haven't aged, they haven't gotten crap, they just great. Um, certain things, like I grew up with the Sinclair Spectrum. You know, I had great memories, great times, but when I revisit it, it doesn't do too much for me other than a twinge of nostalgia. Whereas the Mega Drive, the Snares, the PlayStation 1, I can jump on any time, any place and have some nostalgia and some good times with them. Oops. There's other systems I have a soft spot for, but yeah. The top three consoles is a very competitive um, place, isn't it? Oh, did I really do that? Oh well. <laughs> Balls. I don't, I'll blame input lag from emulation. Always blame something. I've got to the whole level again. Oh, it wasn't much to redo, that's good. I've lost all my juicy powers. I need to go right on the edge. Give me a mushroom, I deserve it. 
I don't know why I deserve it, but... Yay, I'm big! <sighs> yeah, well, I only had both because essentially I had an older brother who had a who was working and let's just say his game because he was a young working man I experienced a lot more games than I would have done thanks to his wages buying games so I didn't own as many games as he did to put it politely so he was a big gamer oh shit sugars I swore for the first time on the stream then he was a big gamer and um, he was always buying the latest games so I was exposed to a heck of a lot of consoles that without him I wouldn't have been. And then quite often I would inherit those consoles when he'd move on to the next thing or forget about them or I'd borrow them for a very long time if you know what I mean. And he's a generous person anyway. So I was very lucky in what games I got to play and what I was exposed to. I mean, we even used to import, import, you know, JRPGs on the SNES, like Final Fantasy and stuff, um, and Secret of Mana, and all those games that often weren't ported, like, we got them imported. And I don't remember how we did it, but we used to run them. I don't know if we had a... Oh, sugars. We used to, you know, so I, I played a lot of games, or in some cases watched him play, because I'm not, as you might have noticed, I'm not a great gamer. <laughs> So quite often I'd watch a game, but I like JRPGs because many of them weren't dependent on you being a good gamer. They were just dependent on you putting the hours in and grinding and learning. So I, I always resonated with JRPGs because my lack of coordination and stuff. The only time that started being a problem was games like Final Fantasy VII with those blasted mini games, and all of a sudden my deficits were starting to show them. But before that, in the good old days, when JRPGs were just grinding, tactics, leveling, story. Yeah, I was born for JRPGs back then. And I was very good because I've got an obsessive mind, so I would often be better than a lot of people at them simply through perseverance. Yeah. PlayStation 1's my top console, we've got, we got the same um, tastes there. I love the PlayStation 1, I love the look of the games, they have not aged to me at all, they're beautiful. I've got a lot of PlayStation 1's, my pride and joy is my chipped PlayStation 1. Okay, what do I do, down here? Can you swim? No, we can't swim. I like um, my little indulgence because um, I don't, I don't have a, a lot of money or a big home. Is my PlayStation One chi uh, chipped up, up to my uh, well, not chipped, my non-chipped, sorry, PlayStation One is hooked up to my 14-inch CRT. Yeah, the Resident Evil games were quite ahead of their time. The only thing I, I struggle now with them is the, the way early games like that controlled, where you, they're kind of like, what do you call it, tank controls? Is that the right term? Oh. I quite, um... struggle with that. But I'd certainly enjoy watching someone play them rather than me, probably. My, um best PlayStation 1 memories are very specific, they're not the general ones that you hear a lot of people say. Mine is the, with the use of the link-up link cable. Do you remember the link-up cable? Get two PlayStation 1s, a link-up cable, two TVs, two copies of the game, and you do a very primitive version of networking. Oh my god, the time I said, I've, I've got so many lame stories about that. With a specific friend, mainly, and we had some epic times. I don't mean once or twice, I mean like hundreds of occasions. And 
and um, especially on oh crap on Command and Command and Conquer um, games, the two Command and Conquer games and um, the two Doom games on cooperative mode and um, Doom Doom 2000 stuff as legends. I'm, I like like, you know, and having your own screen and your own console, it just gave you that intimacy of, of like, but you're still playing with a friend on the sofa, you're not just a lone gamer, and we had, and, Com and um, Command and Conquer, um, had a cooperative mode where you could ally with each other, and then you obviously, um, you're both, like, fighting an enemy with it, you know, you can either share a city or help each other, and, and Doom on cooperative mode in the campaign is, is epic. So I was very specific. I've still got um, my gear. But the good thing about the Command and Conquer games was it came with the Soviet and the Allied campaign discs, so you didn't have to buy any more copies of the game to play Link Up. You just needed your own console. One of you has the cable, and you have your own TV. My mate used to come around my house carrying his 14-inch TV with a video recorder built into it, and we'd be off. He used to leave his PlayStation at my house anyway. And every weekend, from Friday to Sunday night, we'd be gaming on it. We'd forget it for a few years. Nowadays, we're reduced to Steam because we live in different countries, but you know. It's not quite the same, but thank God technology's getting able to carry on. Ah, uh, yeah. Did you, do ever, did you ever do any Link Up gaming? Because if you didn't, now's the time if you can find somebody um, cool enough to do it with. Wow. Am I supposed to go on this? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a nice feature. Oh, crap. This game pulled all the stops, didn't it? Oh, balls. Yeah, I, I've got, I own, um, I own, how many copies of June 2000 do I own? Two or three copies of it. Hey, what about Diablo on them? Um, Diablo Cooperative on the same screen, that was good fun, playing Diablo 1. We put a lot of hours into that as well. If only that had a link up mode. Amazing, so I'm pretty specific with my games, but... You see, Quake 2, I would have loved that if it had a cooperative campaign with a um, network in mode with link-up mode. Then I would have snatched up. Oh, another game, what was it called? Blast Radius. It was a spaceship game, and you controlled this fighter each. And you had your own, it was a link-up game, and you fought together as a, as a, you know, as a squad, and you took on, like, enemy fighters and capital ships. It was all 3D texture-mapped graphics. Absolutely amazing game. It was like being in Star Wars or something. All free-flowing, you went where you want. And you pick the type of ship you want, like, you know, speed, toughness, or, you know, um, weapons or whatever, and it was, that was a good game. I got a few copies of Blast Radio, because I always bought a, I bought a few extra copies to make sure if anything happened to them, I will always be able to play it. Yeah, I prefer the PS1 version, because it's got um, polygon, po polygonal graphics versus the uh, 2D sprites of the PC version. But yeah, Dune, Dune is really good, um, Link Up, really good. You have to find one of your friend's um, units, click on it and press select, and then you can add in your allies and your troops won't shoot each other. And then it's you versus the AI, which is really good. But if, one, if, you're, if you're getting beaten, your friend can send a force and, and help you. Yeah. The amount of hours we put into Command and Conquer and Dune is not even funny. And we used to, um, like experiment with our play style, you know, like do create games where we gimp ourselves if we got too good. Like the classic rule of uh, you can only build infantry and stuff like that. Yeah. Great games, great games. And they've not really been surpassed. RTSs just aren't as good as they used to be. Like, like how old RTS games don't have army cap sizes, but modern ones have unit cap sizes where your army can only be so big, and what the hell's that about? You think with better hardware, you'd get bigger maps and more units, but you don't. I'm not going to play any more um, wise, because I'm going in a second. I've been here for an hour. We've had a good Mario session, in spite of my... Um, 
what would you call it, my lack of ability to it. We've done Mario 1, Mario 2, Mario 3, and Super Mario World, so we're not, we've not done bad. I'll do some more Mario tomorrow if you want. Happily. As long as you can forgive my lack of skill at it. I'm in a PlayStation 1 mood now. It's a shame this game, this console's got such a lacklustre PlayStation 1 showing. No Doom, no Command and Conquer, no Diablo. What the heck? What's that about? Yeah. Yeah, the PlayStation 2 was the last great console of the, you know, of those times. Um, after that, it sort of went downhill slowly. But for me, the PlayStation 1 is the greatest console ever. Definitely. I got myself a um, Retro Tink and a um, Rab 2X. And the PlayStation 1 looks beautiful on the 4K TV. It really has the old school look. And there's, no, there's not any noticeable input lag. So I've got the CRT for true old school and my uh, upscaler for my, you know, for um, new TV. So best of both worlds. The PlayStation 1 deserves it. So when I have that little nostalgic twinge, there it is. And my, um, my old gaming friend, he occasionally comes to this country for a holiday. And that's when we, we dust off the PlayStation 1s and we have some link up time. And before we know it, about six hours has passed. Crazy. If there's a heaven and I get to go to it, hopefully it's me and my friend together playing PlayStation link up games for all eternity. That would be my idea of heaven, where time doesn't matter and we've got all the time in the world. No one interrupting us and we're just playing link up games for like eternity. Amazing. On a, a little stint on a. 14 inch CRT TV each. Two PlayStation ones. I'm a simple man. Well, I'm a. Yep. We would have to dis I'm, I'm, we'll have to discuss this some more, Retro Beast. Um, I've got, I'm going to go in a second, though, because I've done over an hour now. Um, thank you, everybody who's watched the stream and everyone who's engaged and talked. And I hope you've enjoyed the. Um, Selection of Mario games that was requested. We can do some more tomorrow if people want or, or something different. I'm not I'm happy with anything um, Anyone who's watching this and um, if you enjoy the content, please like subscribe share click notification bell leave me a comment It really helps. Thank you very much um, And yes the PlayStation 1 rules um, I will see you all tomorrow uh, or anyone who can make the stream anyway. This is retro beard signing off. Thanks a lot um, Take care everybody all the best. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Um.